The case against a 49-year-old man accused in connection with the fire at Parliament has been postponed to January 11. Zandal Maif appeared in the Cape Town Magistrates Court on Tuesday morning. He is represented by Luvio Gotla. Maif has denied and rejected the charges. Godla said his client was pleading not guilty. Magistrate Zamakail Mbelo postponed the hearing to allow for further investigations. Spokesperson for the National Prosecuting Authority in the Western Cape, Eric Ntabazalila, said state investigators needed to confirm certain information, such as the suspect's residential address and whether he has assets. Investigators have not been able to go to Parliament to assess the damages. By next Tuesday we will have that information, Tabazalila said. He mentioned that the accused would apply for bail, but Ntabazalila said the state would oppose bail. The suspect, who was apprehended by the Hawks, is expected to be charged with housebreaking, theft and arson. Since Sunday, flames have been ravaging the parliamentary precinct, destroying the National Assembly and parts of the old Assembly building. On Monday afternoon strong southeasterly winds in the city fueled the fire again. It was brought under control around midnight. Parliament spokesperson Moloto Mathapo said the latest re-emergence of the fire necessitated the deployment of heavy-duty aerial firefighting appliances to reinforce the existing capacity. The firefighters applied a courageous and brave fighting spirit in their fight for hours last night and were able to put down the fire by midnight. Consequently, there has been withdrawal of the reinforcement, with only six of the ten fire trucks now remaining on the scene. It is hoped that further trucks will be withdrawn during the course of the morning. The firefighters remain on site for inspections of the various parts of the building, he said. Mathapo said further damage has been caused with the offices of MPs being completely gutted. With the fire now contained, it is anticipated that the work by the multidisciplinary team of engineers, which arrived at Parliament yesterday to conduct assessment and establish the scale of the damage, amongst others, will proceed. The presiding officers of Parliament have commended the team of firefighters for the incredible work they put in for days, even under risky situations, to contain the fire, Mathapo added.